Hello, this is Bob. Just got back from Daytona, 24-hour race. Had a great time. Had the, did the Corvette package, packing in the infield, food, guest speakers, um, raffles, you name it, and uh, garage area access, fan zone access, stadium access over on the other side. And they had a raffle uh, yesterday, and the raffle was to have IMSA, who runs the race series, take you on a guided tour of the hot pits, which means you go in where all the race drivers are and all the computers and everything else. Uh, I got lucky yesterday, won the tickets. So my buddy Van, who went with me yesterday, he, uh, he and I uh, were driven over to the IMSA headquarters and one of the IMSA personnel took us on a private tour of the hot pits during the 24-hour race. This is not practice qualifying, this is during the actual race. So here we are in the hot pits, just feet away from the cars. Just feet, you can almost reach out and touch them actually. So we went down there and he was really good. He knew that we were all, you know, Corvette people. So well, most of us were four out of the six, the six people in the group and four of us were Corvette people. So. He stopped at the Corvette tent, was able to go into the tent at the Corvette pit and uh, shoot some video, which I'm going to show you now. Their video is awesome. You can't believe what the inside of this um, pit area is for uh, Chevrolet Corvette and the, other Cor and the other cars, too. It's really amazing, the technology that's in there. But uh, take a look, and I'm going to play it for a while there so that you can look around and get an idea. You know, there's a lot to see in there. And then after that, we'll go down to a uh, section uh, j just for those people, those visitors like us that are in the hot pits, where we can actually stand up against pit wall and uh, watch the race cars go by and watch them come in for pit stops. I have video of that, too. And I think you'll really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's quite an experience. I hope you get the feeling that you're there with me. That's the whole idea of it, that I want to be able to share my experience with you so that it feels like you're there and that you and I think you, I think you, hopefully you'll get that feeling and if you have any comments put them down below have any suggestion put them down below subscribe if you get a chance hit the subscribe button down below and uh, if you like it hit the like button too thanks so here's the video all right we're going now to have a hot pits tour Boy, it's so loud here. Wow. Very loud. Oh, we're right here. It's right here, so if you guys want to walk back, you can. We'll walk back. Okay. It's Only not right super far. Alright, thank you. So. Alright. You got Okay, our guide is heading, uh, taking us down to the entrance to the hot pits where we have to have uh, credentials to get in there or you will not be allowed. He's going to tell the gentleman we have six, there's six of us and we will uh, identify ourselves with our cred credentials that IMSA gave us for the afternoon here while we're in the hot pits. Kind of crowded here, I was kind of surprised, I thought there'd be more room but it's kind of tight. 
Notice some of the names on the side here. You might recognize them. Here's the stables for the two Ford GT40s, car number 66 and car number 67. The cars finished uh, the race in their class. They finished first and second. Those two cars were 1-2. Congratulations to Ford. They really look fabulous this weekend. There's their brain center in there. We're only a couple of hours into the race, so it's just early now. No one has any idea what the outcome's going to be at this point. So we're weaving our way down to the Corvette pits, and we are arriving right now. Nice greeter right there, says hi. Very impressive setup. There's the timing and scoring right there on the top of the screen. And these people are looking at it. These guys here on the left are looking, watching and following. Forward of that, there are two big TV screens. I'll show you that in a minute. We'll get around here. Several different camera angles from different parts of the race course that they are analyzing and studying. And you'll note that behind the screen, or well, the screens, there are also people perched up top behind the screens. There are other jobs that they are doing there. And then on the other side of the tent, more data acquisition on the left. And hey, there's my old buddy there, Jim Campbell. Met him about 20 years ago. Great guy. One of the really, truly nice guys of General Motors. Always great to see him. We're moving along now to. We're going to go past a few more. There's Acura. We're going to go through a few by a few more pit stalls and just a little ways further down. We're going to come an area. Come to an area that uh, IMSA has some of their people there and a uh, very official kind of site. And we're going to go behind the fence here. We're going to have to open the fence to get in there and then go behind the fence and close it behind ourselves. And the six of us, with our, along with our guide, are going to go up to the wall. <laughs> and we'll see, actually see the wall. And be able to look up and down pit row. Pretty cool. Now, remember now, the 24-hour race is underway. We're officially underway here. So we're going to open this fencing here, go through here. These are IMSA officials on the right. And we're going to go in and watch the goings on. I can lean over the wall and touch pit row. <laughs> I didn't do it. There's the officials there. I'm sure they would get a little upset if I got hanging over the wall, but they're really nice. It, it was great. We're currently waiting to see if any cars come in for a pit stop, and I bet we have one coming in real soon. Hear that sound? That's a Corvette. And that nice deep roar, isn't that great? I, you can tell that car anytime it goes by out on the course. Okay, we've got a we've got one coming in now for a tire and gas probably. Or should I say tires and gas? Very dangerous spot. You gotta keep on your toes, especially the guys that are out there, the officials in the white helmets. 
that are checking to make sure all the lug nuts go on and so on and so forth. There aren't any incorrect procedures that are not allowed. Guys are running down to the front of the pit entry because a car is stalled and their pits is way back behind me. So they're going to run down and push that car back and it's very dangerous. I mean somebody could come flying in there and take these guys out. It's a, it was kind of tense when this was happening because it wasn't too far from pit entry and somebody might get caught off guard. It's crazy. Here comes a couple cars in now. You can see the cars behind there. I know they have a speed limit, but still, I mean, those guys are out there in a very dangerous area, and um, they're earning their money pushing this car back to their pit stall. I guess he must have run out of gas. He either had a mechanical or he ran out of gas, I'm figuring. Well, these guys are in their money right here. coming out of pits. It's got gas and tires. Another one coming in for pits. Looks like an Audi. I love the lights on it. I really see the lights in this car. It's pretty cool. Let's go on. Crew member up front giving the sign for when it's time to pull out, and when he does that, the guy will take off. Once everything's done, gas just finished, I'll take off. Long time for gas. I don't know, I haven't figured that one out, I guess. Uh, tires are easy, bing, bang, boom, they're down about five or ten seconds, it seems. The gas takes a lot longer. So now we're leaving. I cut a lot of the video out. We're probably there 45 minutes, I would say, total. Thank you, Chevrolet Corvette, and thank you, IMSA.